Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with the second part of the video. This one is all about the hat, which is actually the title of the stamp set. So the first time around, um, and I will link to part one in case that you missed that, we did uh, the shoes. And so this one is all about the hat card. And I did them together because they are along the same theme, but because they are both um, two separate one layer cards, they clearly took a certain amount of time, um, which I don't mind because I like a one layer card. Um, but that is why we had to split them up into two videos. Um, so again, we're just stamping um, using Copic Safe ink because that's what I'm going to be coloring with. And then the sentiment, I have these little strips of uh, masking paper. And I believe I used my post-it note masking paper for those, just because it already has straight lines. And then this spider is actually from the right shoes set. Um, it doesn't come with the hat. I just was using it to kind of fill in my scenes since I do own both sets. But I don't necessarily know that you would be missing anything if you created the card and there was no spider there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a fun little extra element, but um, I don't think that your card would be terribly diminished by not having it. So originally I thought that I was going to use my ruler to kind of um, make the border around my sentiment. I wanted it to look like a like a picture or a sign that was hanging in the background since they are supposed to be seen cards. And like I told you in the previous video, I ended up just taking um, my pen, which is also alcohol marker safe because I'm going to be coloring it and just going around very carefully um, and tracing the outline edge. And then I used the ruler to create the frame. Um, around my sentiment to make it look like, you know, a picture or a sign that you would have in your house. It isn't perfect. <laughs> I didn't measure it perfect. I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, but I could totally understand how you would maybe want to do that. I just didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal because I knew how dark the top of my card was going to be. Um, and then eventually I did have to cut a mask for that as well to make sure that no distress ink got on the sign. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You'll see like my piece is just slightly bigger than the sign and then I can see the lines through it. So I'm just kind of lining it up on one side and then using my pen to trace the other lines so I can trim them down and they will match accordingly um, just to keep those protected. Here, <laughs> this is fun. So I was making two cards and I knew what I wanted to do and I knew that I wanted my um, hat to be like this fabulous pinkish purple color uh, and that my background was going to be green so I would have some contrast and then I completely lost my mind about which card I was doing because I'm pregnant and thoughts are hard. And um, I started doing it with the pink. But like I said, I knew how dark it was going to be. So I just went right over it and it was totally fine. You can't even tell. Here I'm using the Bitty Bendy, Bit, wow, Kelly, Bitty Blending Brush from Rabbit Hole Designs to get in between that small space um, where the hat kind of curves down. Um, and these are super like... I really like them for getting into like tight areas or concentrated color. I'm, I'm a super fan. Um, as far as the rest of the distress inking goes, I had to speed it up. Uh, you can obviously see how long this video is, um, <laughs> even with having sped that up. And then for the bottom of each of these cards, like we previously talked about, um, was Hickory Smoke and black soot for this particular one the hat one because I didn't mask any of it I was being very lazy um plus I really just had no idea how I would mask those little branches I did when I went around it I left like a little bit of a halo and then um 
you know, when I drew in my shadow with my markers, I just uh, fixed it from there. So here now all the masks are removed and you can see the difference, obviously. Like some of the hat has a little bit of gray, has a little bit of green. It's not really going to affect our um, coloring at the end, so I'm not super concerned about it. As far as the picture frame goes, I did the same thing that I did with the first card. I tried to keep everything very neutral so that the big bright pops of color would be from my focal point and your eye would be drawn there. I just needed to add a little bit of something to the picture, to the spider, um, so that they were as dimensional as my hat is. I hope that makes sense. Like I couldn't leave them just completely flat <laughs> and have this like super dimension on my hat. Um, so I was just trying to put them all kind of on the same level. Um, and then the sentiment uh, when we get there is, it says a hat is more than just a hat. A hat is an expression of the soul, which is super cute little sentiment. Um, but I just know that if I was a witch, I would want a super fabulous hat and I would want it to have all of the things on it and be very brightly colored. I wouldn't want just a plain black hat. So this one was super fun to color. Um, obviously you'll have to bear with me. I am a little bit congested, but it's because it's in the morning. Oh, the mornings are the worst. Um, and I'm not getting really good sleeps. I pretty much just, and I told this to Eric last night. I was like, I just have to accept that my life again is a series of naps because that's all I can get. Like I sleep for two and a half to maybe three hours at a time. And then I'm up again because of some thing. Fill in the blank what the thing is. Um, the thing is I have to go to the bathroom. The thing is horrendous heartburn. Um, the thing is I have to roll over like <sighs> just not good sleep. And in fact, he is still in bed right now because <laughs> he was like, why didn't you wake me up so many times? And I said, I wasn't trying to, I'm sorry. Like I got trash sleep. So I probably woke you up a couple of times. And he was like, no, I'm even talking about the times where you like, you woke me up to roll me over. Well, dude, I cannot apologize for those because A, either you were snoring, which I'm going to be honest. Also, he has to put up with my snoring, especially with me being super congested <laughs> and pregnant and not um, able to sleep in any comfy positions. But also because some of the time we don't sleep in the same bed together because we work opposite shifts. He has gotten into this habit of sleeping in the middle of our bed. And now he tries to do it even when, look, we have a king size bed, y'all. It's not a small bed. But even when I'm there now, he tries to sleep in the middle of the bed. So like three times last night, I had to roll him over because he was rolling over on top of me. Like, I'm like body physically present. You cannot lay on top of me. Like I'm all, no, you have to move. So back to the cards super quick. Here you can see that I am adding in um, some kind of like hot pink. This is an RV04. And it's because I knew I wanted my hat to be like this wonderful magenta color. And I knew that I was going to have to use my purples to get that, but it also needed to be a little bit pink. So I'm using pink as kind of like my base color. And then you'll see we're going to use it to do some glazing as well at the end. But I'm trying to put this in um, and then I'm going to build my colors up on top of it so that that way at the end of it, um, when it has a lot of depth and everything, that, that pink is still there in my hat. So then from there, I'm going to go just with my normal um, purple combination, which is a V01, a V04, a V06, and a V09. I apologize for 
not necessarily showing all of the color combinations that I'm going to be using. Part of the reason why that happened is because I did end up having to split them into two videos. So typically when I pick up my markers, like I show you them at the beginning and then I don't continually show them if it's a set I've already used. Um, and that's kind of what happened here. As I colored the shoes first and so I shared the color combinations at that point and then <laughs> once I got to the point of the hat like I had already shared the color combination so I didn't think to do it again because I didn't know until I was editing um, that they would actually be two videos so please forgive me I will try to make mention of what they are when I'm coloring with them um so yeah so just not not great sleeping time the other thing so we have a couple of Chick-fil-A's, a couple of chick fil -A's, and Eric was telling me the other morning, he was like, I really, he's like, I was out and about, and I really had a taste for Chick-fil-A, and he was like, so, like, I went to the Chick-fil-A, and I pulled up, and I sat there, and he was like, I was probably there for a few minutes before I realized that it was Sunday, and they were closed. And I was like, first of all, your first clue should have been that Chick-fil-A never doesn't have a line. <laughs> like, never doesn't have a line. Um, but so, that was a couple of days ago now, and he had still been craving the Chick-fil-A. So today, when I took Peanut to school, um, on the way home, I was like, well, I'll stop and get his Chick-fil-A. Because I also love a chicken and biscuit. I don't understand how you don't love a chicken and biscuit. But one of the things that happens when you're just enormously pregnant is you have no room in your tummy. You can't eat normal size meals um, because there's no room in there. It's kind of like if you have bariatric surgery and they shrink down your tummy to nothing and there's no room in there. That's how it feels when you're pregnant. And if you try to eat normal size meals, you end up getting like severe heartburn which you do anyway okay let's be real about that it doesn't really matter how like the quantity of the food that you eat um you end up with heartburn anyway just heartburn all the time everything's on fire um but it can be worse if you overeat and then you know sometimes you can have like food that's like coming back up the back of your throat it's all just gross it's all just gross and disgusting so that's problem number one with eating my biscuit. That's all I ate, by the way, is just one chicken and biscuit. Like, it's not like I overate. I had one chicken and biscuit. Um, but also you don't have a lap. Like, when you're driving, <laughs> I'm a big proponent of eating while I'm driving. Like, I don't... When we used to travel, like, for vacations and stuff... Nathan's dad would always be like, let's just stop and eat. I don't want to. Okay. I'm very impatient. I know that about myself. I just want to get the things, get back in the car and get back to doing like being on our way. But nonetheless, we would stop. We would take a break and get out of the car. So I am a very proficient driver while I am eating. And I put the wrapper... So like, we'll talk about my chicken and biscuits this morning. Okay. I put the wrapper onto my lap in order to catch all of the things like crumbs and stuff like that. Now, I am a self-proclaimed car trasher. Like, I'm not as bad as I was in my 20s. In my 20s, I had like 16 pairs of shoes and 12 pairs of clothes and... um cd cases because it was that time it was nobody has cds anymore but back then um and so there was just a lot of stuff in my car just a lot of items all the time and some of it was trash like empty water bottles or half full water bottles or whatever i am slightly better now like obviously i have a uh, peanut in the car so him like he takes up some room and I obviously try not to bury him under garbage because I'm a good mom like that um and then now 
we have a second car seat in there just waiting for the arrival of this one. Um, but so recently, my wonderful husband cleaned out my car. It was very nice of him. Everything is clean and tidy and fantastic. And so today, when I was on the way home eating my chicken and biscuit, I was trying very, very hard not to get crumbs on anything as to not be unappreciative of the time that he has spent cleaning out my car. But I have no lap. I have none. There's no, I cannot put my, <laughs> I cannot even put my legs together in any fashion at all in order to lay out the wrapper to catch the crumbs. So pretty much what ended up happening was I could only take a bite of my chicken and biscuit while I was at red lights or stop signs because I would have to hold the wrapper up in order to take a bite of my chicken and biscuit so that I would catch all of the crumbs. It was really, it was a thing. It was a to-do. And it was just one more thing that like I had to adjust to because I'm hugely pregnant. We went to our regular OB appointment yesterday and um, so we are officially full term. We're after 37 weeks. We're actually 37 and a half. We'll be 38 on Friday. Um, but I'm measuring 41. So I'm measuring an extra week. Like pregnancy is supposed to be 40 weeks. And I'm measuring one week past that. Now, I know that they have always said that like with your second, you're bigger than with your first. Um, but this is outrageous. And I need I need this child to make its appearance because I am so uncomfortable. Um, back to the hat. So now we've colored all of the purple. Here we're going over, I told you about that glazing. Um, so now, like look at how bright and fun this is. I am going to go back over with the VO4 just to kind of blend everything in. But I love, I just love how bright that pink is. Um, and it really pops because we have that green background. I would totally wear this hat. I wanted to tie in the green. Um, and it's not exactly the same, but it's close enough for government work. Um, here I'm gonna use a YG010317 and a 67. Um, to do the band on the hat. The background color, I used crushed olive, which is a little bit more um, yellow than green. But I did not, I do have like the YG95s. Um, like the 90 family would be a spot on match for that. But I felt like it was gonna be too dull next to that bright purple. And so I went with a brighter green. I know it's not a perfect match. Don't crucify me. And if you want yours to be a perfect match, use the YG90 family. Okay, moving on. Um, so, yeah, very uncomfortable. But, like, I'm just trying to remind myself that, like, they're going to make their appearance when they're going to, when God's good and ready for them to make their appearance. Um, it's just, you know... It's, I think at, when you're at the end of anything, um, when you're <laughs> like you're close enough within striking distance at the end of anything, you're just very anxious um, for the end of it. And I'm very anxious for them to, to be here and us to move on to the next stage. Um, but yeah, so that we've talked about the heartburn. We've talked about the no lap situation. Um, and it's just kind of where we're at. Oh, I know what I, like sometimes when I am, <laughs> when I am just living my life, like there's funny things that happen. And I think to myself, um, remember that for YouTube later. But then I have pregnancy fog and I don't always remember it for YouTube later. Isn't that funny how that happens? I'm gonna be honest, it also happens sometimes when I'm not, uh, when I'm not pregnant, <laughs> if I even remember what that's like, um, where I just will be like, oh, this would be a funny story for YouTube, and then I forget about it. So, the other day, we have a, I guess it's kind of, 
it's a drug store, but it also has a grocery in it. But it's not like a full grocery. It is a full grocery store, but they don't have as many items as a uh, my regular grocery store, I guess is a good way to put it. So I typically do one to two large grocery shopping trips um, in the month. Back to the colors. Hold on. So I'm using a Y13 because I cannot find my Y08. I need to order a new one. I have not yet, but, or I'm sorry, no, the Y13 is in place of the Y02 because I need to refill it and I'm lazy. I haven't done that yet. Then I'm going to use a Y19 in place of my Y08 because it needs, like I have not been able to find it and I need to order a new one. Those are basically the same color. Then what did I use? A Y... R04 and a YR09 um, to just fill in my little stars, my berries, and my bell. I kept them all the same color. Um, anywho, so twice a week I do a big grocery trip. Twice a week, Lord have mercy. Twice a month <laughs> I do a big grocery trip. And then um, if in between those two trips, I need something like we run out of fruit or bread. Um, I will stop by this little like half grocery store that is closer to us um, and I can just run and pick up what I need and I can do that like before I pick up Nathan for school or after I pick him up from school. Um, it's just a quick in and out thing or Eric can run in there, whatever. So the other morning, that's what I was doing. We thought we were going to have, I think that was the last time I did my video, right? I said, yeah, because I think I told you that I thought he was going to be staying for dinner and then he ended up not staying for dinner. Um, so I went in there and then, did I tell you this story already? Lord have mercy. I cannot remember. You're going to hear it again then. You're going to hear it again because I can't remember if I told you. Because <laughs> that's the story of my life now. <laughs> um... So anyway, the cashier who was checking me out um, was probably in her 20s. And then the other, there was another girl who worked there who appeared to be about my age or maybe just a smidge older. The song that was playing on the radio, um, what was it? I can't remember now. But the, the girl who was my age was singing along. The cashier who's checking me out, who's like 20, is like, how do you even know this song? Right? And she was like, my grandma, it's it's Smokey Robinson. My grandmother was a huge fan. Um, like, this is good music. And this young lady was like, Smokey the Robinson? Like, I've never heard of them. Never heard of them, Smokey the Robinson. And I'm standing there while she's checking out my items. And I'm like, what? But what? What is she saying right now? And I look at her and I said, is this a real conversation? Like, you've really never heard of Smokey, the, Smokey Robinson? And she was like, no. So then the other lady is like, you know, Diana Ross, The Temptations... Um, Sammy Davis Jr. She was like, no, no, no. I don't know who any of those people are. And then I cried in my soul. And then she was like, the Jackson 5? Oh, yeah, I know them. And the girl starts laughing. She was like, everybody knows Michael. And <laughs> she's not wrong. That probably is more popular or more well-known. But I was so... I was just like so sad that she didn't even know who any of these people are. I told her to get on the YouTubes and start Googling um, so that she could hear their music. But I have noticed we have a local station, 105.7. And when I was younger, it was the oldie station. And it played all my parents' type of music. So it played all of these things that I have just named here. Um, and that's what we listened to when we would go, we'd be on our way to bowling. Now I listen, 
now I listen to 105.7 and it plays all the music that I listened to in my very early childhood because apparently the criteria for being played on the oldies station is being older than 25 years. That's the only criteria. So now they don't even play. Like, they're playing Bob Seger, guys. Like, they're playing Def Leppard. They aren't, they're not even playing the stuff that my parents listen to. And I don't know when the transition happened, but it's very frightening. Because now, I mean, in 10 years, they're going to be playing all the stuff that they were playing in the 90s that I grew up with. Because I was a 90s kid. It's it's a scary time. I'm going to be honest. Um, so here, all the coloring is done. I've outlined everything. And now I'm just going in and drawing in um, some spider webs with my white gel pen just to kind of finish off the card. I did go over the one on the hat also with the white gel pen. I feel like this was a good decision um, to really help it stand out. And then I added highlights to my berries, my stars, and my bell, as well as I think like the top of the head of the little spider. Um, and then I used my clear, I think this is the Wink Estella one, um, clear glitter pen to add glitters to the little berries as well. And then that's it. That's the whole card. So when I looked at the website, the right shoes was actually sold out, but the hat is still in stock. If you are interested in that over at Rabbit Hole Designs, it'll be linked below on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you at the end of the week. Bye.